Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Lahore, Pakistan, and today I'm in the walled city, which dates back to the year 1000. Uh, it's the ancient center of Lahore. Today we're gonna go on a full tour of the walled city of Lahore. We're gonna eat some of the most amazing street food. We are gonna see some of the famous sites. I'm gonna meet up with my friend Ali and Malik, and I'm gonna share everything with you in this video right now. We're starting off for breakfast this morning at a place, it's called Paja Siripai. They are one of the most legendary places to eat a dish called Siripai, which is the uh, goat trotters, goat feet, stewed. Uh, this will be my first time to try it, but it smells incredibly good. Yeah, this is a place I'm very excited to eat at. They're open 24 hours? Yeah, they're, they're, make open, it they're open 24 hours. So they're constantly making it. For example, that one is made, and now they're again making it. Uh, never closes? Never closes, exactly. It's like a meter and a half diameter pan that's filled with this bubbling, like it looks thick, thick from the collagen and the fat bubbles away like a pan of lava. Um, and then he just continually kind of like stirs and sort of um, rehydrates those feet which are sitting, which are elevated on a little, little podium. They have two different bowls you can order. One of them is with goat brains and then the other version is a goat feet. Um, he takes a couple of the goat feet, he puts them back into the swimming pool of boy bubbling cauldron of, of broth um, and then he adds those to your bowl and then finally again sprinkles it with some masala powder to, to finish it off. Oh, it smells incredible. Just coming upstairs because there's nice light up here and they have a whole family dining section up here. <laughs> I want to say that thank you. Sure, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. How was the city? Did you already eat? Yes. The city pie? Yes. Was it good? These are looking our best and good test. We're not sure the, the story behind the heart-shaped nuns, but they gave us some heart-shaped nuns. <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? I will just go for the paya first. Okay, paya. that's the main dish. And you can just see how thick that gravy is, and this is more like a stew. But then you see those just like, just like, like, kind of like gelatinous chunks of the entire, well, the entire chunks. Oh, and you can kind of, wow, that is jelly. That is jelly. Oh, wow, that tastes just like straight up melted, melted collagen and fat. Fat lovers paradise, I would say. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. The fat has been like boiled for so long that it's rendered down, so it's not like a, a layer of fat, but it's just like kind of been, been rendered into the sauce. Um, it's like oozy, it's oozy, liquid ooze. Little, little, that looks like a little toe bone. It's so soft, like you would not need teeth to chew that. And let's move on over to the brain. And you can see the chunks of brain in here. And then again, it's that same stew. Looks like a nice little nugget of cottage cheese. Brain is awesome. It's so creamy. It's so rich. Um, but then it's like the creaminess is actually mellowed out by the, the richness of the stew. So you taste the rich fattiness of it on top of the rich fattiness of the brain. Richness on top of richness. Brain mm. mm. one is amazing. That was very like comforting, a little on the fatty, oily side to get the morning started. Uh, but I, I have to admit, I, I really enjoyed the brain uh, stew one. Okay, we're moving on. Right outside of the restaurant, there's a man selling something called pot. And it just looks cool, so I just had to stop and get a piece. Made from jaggery and made into like a little toffee. Um, and then there's sesame seeds and peanuts on top. Yeah, that is like a toppy. There's like a, yeah, it sticks to your teeth. You taste that like brown sugar taste to it, like a burnt caramelized sugar cook. Very good, thank you. Mm. 
We made it to the Delhi Gate, and I believe that there are 12 gates uh, that um, you can enter within the walled city. But the entire walled city, it dates back to the year 1000, but then it was conquered during the Mughal Empire, um, and then it was really developed during that time. So a lot of the buildings, especially some of the mosques and the fort, uh, were developed and built during the Mughal Empire. Something I love about the walled city is that it's just, a, I mean, it's a living museum. There's businesses, there's markets, there's restaurants, there's stalls, there's jewelry shops. It's just everybody going about their lives, but within this old, ancient section of the city surrounded by the wall. And we're gonna just walk around and explore now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We can sit here. Perfect. Basically just entered the walled city and we're just starting to walk around, uh, but we had to stop for a quick snack just because Ali saw it. Um, it's, a, it's a lentil stew with chicken in it and it, it's served in this giant metal rounded pan. Uh, he seasoned it with ginger, chilies, um, there's some mint on top of there and then also a, a squeeze of seasoning masala. Oh nice. Oh and I think there's some fried shallots or garlic on there too. Mm. Okay. That's yeah, like way more flavorful and better than I expected. Not only do you have the yellow lentils in there, but also chickens. Then you got the ginger in there, the chilies. Uh, has that like caramelized like nuttiness to it. Oh man, that is good. I'm like seriously just pleasantly surprised. That's delicious. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Can I, can I see you? Okay. Add desi ghee. Oh, yeah. This time we're getting the, the super size. We were gonna stop at that one small plate, but then he offered to, to give us a refill. Well, I couldn't resist because it's so good. Normally, they have this this Tupperware of seasoning here that you can season on your own normally, right? Yeah. But he seasoned it so perfectly, I asked him to season it again, this bowl, for, for us again, because yeah, he knows what he's doing. And the owner just brought over a roti. Oh man, he gave us uh, a serious dosage of butter in this plate. And just the chili, the, oh, I think, I think what makes it for me is the, the ginger and the chilies. Oh no. At first I thought this is so good. Goldie just made it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> At first this was just gonna be a little taste, a little taste test, but we may as well go all out. It's so good. Okay, you seasoned this one even better. We just so stopped here to take a few bites, and then this is our second plate. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm like blown away how good that is. Shukriya. Hello. This is the shop. Um, and oh yeah, I mean we, we wanted to pay. He would not accept payment. He was so nice. He the two giant cauldrons of the of the stew, and it's right across from the Wazir Khan Mosque, known to be one of the most beautiful mosques in the walled city of Lahore. There's multiple sections of yellow and orange and blue, and then contrasting with the red brown bricks. I need to have this. We barely made it from the last thing we ate. Um, and I just saw the overflowing cart and he's serving dahi bala. It mainly consists of these little fried donuts which is made from dal flour. They sort of soak in a yogurt. Um, he puts them onto your plate and then he adds on a, a number of chutneys. He adds on some onions and shredded cabbage. He adds on some more yogurt. Um, some of the the yogurt that has uh, mint and cilantro within it and then yeah you've got a, a full chat a full snack these are the fritters and they're like they're very spongy they're kind of like saturated with the yogurt and juices oh yeah nice oh, I'm... Mm. Oh. it's so cool and refreshing, like almost like cornbready. 
but made from doll flour, made from lentil flour. So it's kind of like, it's not as dense as it looks. It's, it's, it's more airy and then when it's soaked up with the, the yogurt. It, it, it is definitely soggy, but that's what makes it good. And then on this side, there's more of a, a chutney, which I believe would, might be a sweeter chutney. Maybe apricot, I'm not totally sure. That's more of a sweet and sour kind of chutney. Maybe mango. Oh, that's a bigger booty. We are not making it very far on this tour of the walled city, but that's okay. This is what we came to do. We did. We came with no plan so that we could just walk around and see what we found. Uh, but as we were eating that dahibala, which was, which is actually right over the, the fence over there, um, they said we should come check out this uncle who is making it's a uh, it's a lentil chickpea stew. Lentil chickpea stew? Yeah. He dips you out a little scoop of the of the curry um, when you order, and then he pairs it with a little bit of onions and cabbage, um, and then some of the achar, which is like a pickle. And it's served with a. It's like a puri, but it's the bigger size. It's called a petura. Uh, he twirls it in his finger to to release it into the oil, but that's strategic. That's key so that it lands in the oil and bobs in the oil perfectly, um, and then he just. Um, laps it with oil until it's perfectly golden and puffs up. I really want to get some of that achar. That's what really looks like it stands out to me and some of those vegetables as well. Kind of pick some of this up. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, the puri. Oh, the petura. You have to eat it while it's hot and fresh so that it's crispy, yet like gooey on the inside. And then that stew is, it is nicely creamy. You taste like the cinnamon, kind of like nutmeg flavor of it. With that achar, which is kind of kind of a little bit spicy and a little bit sour. Oh, that achar is amazing. Assalamu alaikum. If you want, we can hold the bag for you at the back. From here, we are jumping into a rickshaw and we're gonna drive around and I'm gonna get the front seat so that I can see the view and film from out here. Your bag? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay here? Or maybe in the back, yeah, maybe in the back. My car. You guys okay back there? Oh, we're perfect. <laughs> okay, just a big squeeze. Let's go. Yeah, this is a great way to get around the walled city of Lahore, old Lahore. We are just navigating these streets. They are literally like just pedestrian lanes and you just have to dodge around motorbikes and push carts and... Whoa. Yeah, it's so great. I am loving this though. The people are friendly. The streets are just so vibrant and colorful. And there's so many fabrics. It's just like a never-ending market. Oh. oh. Is the camera okay? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, we just had a slight minor crash. Minor crash, but all is okay. Hopefully the guy who got hit by the mirror is okay. So Mark might have left the shop. Quick stretch break. There's just an endless stream of mysterious alleys and lanes and just the wires and the buildings and just loads like this just going past. It really is just just never-ending fascination and excitement and you can just walk around you can look and people are friendly you smell the aroma of food we have no idea what's down this alley we just had to it just looks enchanting so we had to come down this alley again just filled with it's just never-ending market there's food it's just bustling with people. There's probably homes and a community down here. Market stall after market stall of everything you could possibly ever want. Next up, we've just stumbled into fruit chat. And so chat is a type of snack and then this is all from fruit. When you order, he dishes you a bowl and then he sprinkles on some, I believe it's masala powder again. Uh, so this is a fruit snack Lahori style. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's like a fruit salad. Um, 
you've got the pomegranate seeds in there, which you crunch on. Then you've got the banana, which is like creamy. Also, the owner just mentioned that it's apricot chutney, which is makes the sauce, which holds the whole fruit salad, the whole fruit chat together. That is the secret. That's what makes it good. As he sells, he just keeps on mixing it so it stays fresh like that. Mm. And then just counterbalance with that just slight tinge of the, the masala powder. It's like fruit salad with a apricot jam milkshake all together in one. Oh, and I just noticed there's chickpeas in here too. But they're crunchy chickpeas. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, people are just so, people are so amazing. Oh, actually Ying is back in the tuk tuk. Oh, hi Ying. <laughs> and we're just walking, but they're, they're following us. Yeah. You feel like you're in a totally different world walking around this walled city in Lahore. It is, it's spectacular. Okay, we're jumping back into the rickshaw and we're on our way to go eat lunch. For lunch, we've stopped at a daba. This is a local restaurant which has a selection of different dishes. They have curries, they have different rice dishes, they have a, an assortment of dal and chickpeas. Um, and so you can come to the front, you order your different dishes, and then they have a seating section. But I just, we got the, the permission to come into the kitchen to watch him as he assembles some of the dishes. And I think he actually takes some of the, the dishes which are already pre-cooked and then he heats them in a karahi, in a, in a rounded pan. Um, before you order them and add some more like chili. Actually, I think that must be ghee. <laughs> yes. Well, look at those skills. Look at those skills. I was busy watching the chef as he cooked the curries and prepared the curries, but right behind me, the roti making station, the tandoori oven, and he is, he is flying. He literally like hammers it, like drum rolls it with his fingers. Uh, then he flaps it in his hands right onto the pillow in literally like three seconds. It's within the tandoor oven. Wow. That is some skill. Wow. I wanted to stand there and watch him make the roti all afternoon, but okay, the food is almost coming. We chose four different items, um, and then he stewed them up, he cooked them up, so he like, he like boils them again, so that, that uh, makes them hot and fresh again. Um, and then some of the fastest made, some of the three second roti. I gotta scoop in for that liver first. That liver there, oh yes. And then also I wanna grab that, that chili if I, if I can. Cheers. Mm. Oh. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so creamy and that sauce is so rich and just like the spices are so, so like mellowed out together. This is a type of dal, a type of lentil. Thick from that, that ghee. You can feel the texture of them in this version. I'm gonna go in for some of that chicken curry. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's so warm. Warm and fluffy. Mm -hmm. The chicken curry also. It's rich, but it, it doesn't taste too oily. It does have that like floating layer of butter on top. But then the the curry is almost milky tasting, like creamy tasting. Okay, and then we got one more dish, which is a vegetable dish with, looks like there's some potatoes and peas. Oh, actually it's it's a uh, turnip. Turnip. It's turnip. Oh, I thought it was potato, but it's actually turnip. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's delicious. You taste that like bitter earthiness of the turnip, but it's cooked down, it's so soft. Kind of like a, a roasted cinnamony taste to it. And finally some yogurt for cooling. 
with cucumber. This turnip is amazing. Yeah, okay, I gotta try that liver again. Creaminess of that liver. This little restaurant has it all. The three second roti maker, all of the, the Pakistani curries, and then the tea at the front where he whips it up, he mixes the milk, he puts in the tea, he stirs it up, um, and then the best part is when he puts it into your glass and he pours it from a high elevation so it gets that bubbly, frothy uh, layer, just, just creaminess on top. And this is actually not chai, this is dudpati, which is just milk uh, with tea in it. So it's just milk, no water. Oh yeah, all oh, that suits. That's like creamy in the perfect kind of way. It is milky, and then you just got that dark, strong black tea flavor. That's perfect, actually perfect. Nice to meet you. That was great, this is a really local spot. Oh man, those curries were great. That tea. Thank you. Lunch was a success. This is our ride. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're off. After lunch, we drove over to Lahore Fort, and it dates back when Lahore was the Mughal capital. Um, and the fort is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I think they are negotiating for a, a horse carriage. We're gonna get on a horse carriage, I think. Yeah. And I have the privilege of riding, riding shotgun. Excellent. Uh, yeah. The breeze is cool, the ancient buildings. Look at all of the birds. So many birds, that's something that you will notice being in Lahore. But Ali definitely has the right idea. His, his hop on, hop off style. Say if you want the best solution, <laughs> ask the lazy guy. <laughs> Right at the entrance of the fort, actually, there's uh, one of the largest, oldest mosques. There's also a Sikh temple and a Hindu temple right all next to each other. We made it to Badshahi Mosque, and this is, uh, again, built in the Mughal Empire. It's one of the most iconic mosques, and right across, that's the fort over there, but we are gonna go into the, the mosque here. It's just a... The, the facade is in the front, we're gonna climb the steps. It's, it's just this massive courtyard. Um, and this is where you enter in the front here. And then in the front, there's the, the triple domes. The domes are huge. And right now, as the sun is going down in the afternoon, the, the sun is right behind the dome. Yeah, the, the Mughal architecture. What I really like is just the contrast. Right now, the sun is just shining off the red, the red, orange mud color. And then in the distance, you've got the, the brown and like colorful colors of Lahore and the of the old city of the old walled city. Wow, this is spectacular. So we've come to the end of the day. This has been an amazing day in Lahore, exploring especially the old walled city. I will have all the information in the description box below of everything that we did. I wanna say a massive thank you to Ali from Landmark Communications and Pakistan Travel Mart. He's the one who invited us to Pakistan. So if it wasn't for Ali, we wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to make it to Pakistan. So thank you, Ali. So that's it, I'm gonna end the video now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Good night from Lahore. See you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.